Hey there, Brett Jennings with Silicon Valley Real Estate Journal here. I wanna welcome you back to our video blog. Thanks for tuning in. The question for today is, when I'm selling my home to buy another, how do I go about it? Do I buy first or do I sell first? We're gonna dive right into that, but before we do, I wanna always point out some good free resources here. If you're considering buying a home, click on the Search for Homes tab. That will give you gateway access to the MLS and all the homes for sale. If you're considering selling, Click on the Find My Home Value tab. That's going to give you an instant estimate of your home's value, which we can further refine upon your request. And now back to the topic. How do I sell my home when I want to buy another? Do I buy first? Do I sell first? There's really four ways to go about this process. Number one is something called a contingent purchase. This means we go out in the marketplace, look for a home and write an offer subject to or contingent upon you listing and selling your home. Now, with Silicon Valley being a, a market with very low inventory and a, what we call a seller's market, we're likely gonna be competing for that home you wanna buy with many other buyers that aren't contingent on selling their home in order to purchase. So that kind of puts us at a major disadvantage. The second option is something called a contingent sale. That means we list your home for sale uh, we put it on the market, and then when we receive offers, when we before we go to sign the contract with the prospective buyer, we let them know, great, we, we will receive your offer, but we want to let you know that we're going to need to find and purchase another property um, before we allow you to have a binding contract and close on the sale of this house. So that does, um, it's a little bit easier to do in this market because you being the seller, uh, you can kind of stipulate terms in this market. It's not the best option. Number three is a bit of a better option. It's something called a bridge loan. This means we actually get financing, get you pre-approved for the new house, and we can take some equity out of your current home to help purchase the new home. Typically, you have to qualify for both, both mortgages, so you do need quite a bit of income in order to make that possibility work. Either that or you have to have a lot of equity or no mortgage on the outgoing property. And that leads us to number four. The fourth option and that is most prevalent in this market is actually we put your house on the market for sale and then we actually negotiate what's called a rent back with the buyer. So we'll, this means we'll sell your home. When we go to receive the offer from the prospective purchaser, we'll tell them, look, we're gonna accept your offer um, now and you have a binding contract. We just need probably two, maybe three months in the home after we uh, close the sale to be able to rent this property back from you. So that gives us ample time to go out in the market and find you a new home. In practice, that's the most common option and it is very, very effective. Uh, in fact, we've helped dozens, if not almost hundreds of homeowners now with that process and we've never had anybody not find an amazing home. So just know you do have options in this market, even though there's low inventory and we're happy to help you do that. So if you'd like a free consultation, reach out to us. And until we talk again, this is Brett Jennings saying we'll be right here ready to help you create a better life through real estate.